So let's look at this question on the transpose of a matrix, right? Um, in our first class, we discussed what the transpose of a matrix means and also how to evaluate the transpose of any matrix, okay? Now, for this question here, we're given a matrix A being equal to 932, 147, and 036. We're asked to evaluate I, says the transpose of A, I, I, the determinant of the transpose of A, I, 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 is the determinant of A greater than the determinant of the transpose of A? That's a question there. Uh, there should be a question mark here. All right. All right, so let's get this done. So how do you solve this? Our first task will simply be to write out the matrix A. So you're giving matrix A as being equal to 932. So I have this as 932. The next set of elements are 147. So I have one, four, seven, and then finally I now have zero, three, six. So I have this as zero, three, six. All right. So this is my uh, matrix. Let's get the, the transpose. Um, the question one there. Let's get the transpose. So I. Let's get the transpose of A. So A transpose will be equal to. Now record that in our last class we talked about the transpose of a matrix, and we said. To get the transpose of any matrix, all you have to do is re rewrite the row matrix as column matrix, okay? That was the simple tax. Rewrite the row matrix as column matrix and that's all. So if I look at this matrix here, this here is row 1. Row 1, the elements there are 9, 3, and 2. So I'll write this as a column matrix. That means write this in vertical form. So I will now have this as 9, 3, and 2. That's for row 1. Next up, look at row 2. Row 2 is this one here. This is row 2. The elements in row 2 are 1, 4, and 7. We write this in terms of a column matrix. I have um, 1, 4, and then 7. Finally, let's get to row 3. This here is row 3. For row 3, the elements are 0, 3, and 6. We write this now as a um, column matrix, I have 0, 3, and 6. So hence, this becomes the um, transpose of matrix A. So that's your answer. Let's look at the B part. B or II says, find the determinant of the transpose. So let's get the determinant of this. So II, II, we have to find the determinant of A transpose. And that will be equal to, let's get the this is 910, so simply come here, do this as 910. The next set of elements are 343, three. so I'm having this as 343, three. and then finally, the next set of elements are 276, so I'm having this as 276, so you have this. All right, so let's get the um, determinant of this matrix here. We've discussed how to get the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix in our previous class. I'll leave the link on how to get the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix in the video description. Okay, so check the video description. You'll see a link to get the um, class on how to find the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. But let's look, let's do that together here. Our first task will be to write plus, minus, plus. All right, it's always like this always plus, minus, plus. Okay, so next up, this will now be equal to, our next task would be, you'd write this one here in terms of a 2x2 two two matrix. That's equal to, what I have here, the first thing I have here is plus 9, so it becomes plus 9. For 9, you cover the row and the column of 9. So for 9 here, I'll cover the row of 9. I'll also cover the column of 9. You can see I'm left with this one here, which is 3, which is 4, 3, 4376. So write down 4376. Okay. So that becomes this into 4376. That's the first one there. Next up, the next thing I have is minus 1. Okay. So what, what I have here, this one, this part here, what I have next here is minus 1. So that becomes a minus 1 or minus, can I write minus 1 or simply minus. Okay. The one here is optional. So I'll just write a minus. It still means minus 1. So minus into 
for one you cover the row at the column so for one here this is the row cover the row of one and also cover the row of the column of one you're left with this part here and this part here which is simply three three two six right you're left with three three two six so just write this down as three three two six okay so it becomes three three two six i'm done with this my next and my final tax becomes the last thing here which is plus zero so write down plus zero that becomes plus zero into for zero cover the rows and columns of zero that means for this i'll cover the row of zero this and also the column of zero is this i'm left with four three four two seven okay so three four two seven bring that here i have three four two seven so we have this all right let's solve this question this will now be equal to you have plus nine into for this multiply these two elements that's four times six minus multiply these two elements here that's three times seven next up you have a minus so it becomes minus for this multiply these two here principal diagonal three times six minus this and this that becomes three times two plus the next thing i have here is plus zero this one here so plus zero into multiply this and this three times seven minus four times two so four times two so you have this all right so let's um let's work on this is equal to this gives you plus nine into six times four is 24 minus three times seven is 21 minus open this bracket here next by half i have three times six that's um 18 minus three times two that's six plus next by half zero zero into three times seven that's this one here that gives you 21 minus next by half four times two that gives you eight so you have this all right let's simplify further simplifying further this is equal to i have plus nine into 24 minus 20 minus 21 that gives you three okay minus in bracket 18 minus six that gives you about 12 okay plus zero into 21 minus eight that gives you about 13 okay so you have 13 there all right so with this let's proceed next up you have 9 times 3 you have 27 minus this that's 12 plus 0 times 13 gives you 0 proceed with this this is equal to 27 minus 12 that should give you about 15 and then plus 0 15 plus 0 gives you 15 that means the determinant of the transpose of a is actually equal to 15 that's your answer all right let's look at the last part of the question there all right last question here i i, I says is um the determinant of a greater than the determinant of the transpose of a so i'll leave this part to you you'd solve this and tell me the tell me if it is if it is or if it is not in the comment section so your answer will be yes or no now how do you find this very simple your first task will be you have to get determinant of a now we said that a we said that a is equal to nine three two one four seven zero three six here's a determinant okay okay for a determinant of a you take plus minus plus all right find your determinant here whatever your answer is all right whatever your answer is compared with that of um a transpose don't forget that for a transpose we had the answer as 15 so this is this answer here is 15 this one is 15 so whatever answer you get here compare it with 15 is it greater than 15 or not it is if it is type yes it is greater if it is not type no it is not all right and i'll give you a reply in the comment section okay all right guys so if you enjoyed this video please do well to hit the like button all right just hit the like button okay leave a comment for your comments 
try to answer this question all right so pause this video solve this question tell us if this this question here is true or false and don't forget to if you're yet to subscribe please do well to subscribe to this channel okay to so subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon right subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new video and don't forget finally please share to your friends so that they can also learn thank you and see you in the next class